Okay, so I got like 30 hours of uh, time available on this camera for recording, right? Um, I haven't been down here for a while, so I thought I would uh, bring you along. Now that's the uh, number seven, right? You can definitely see that one. So let's go across the street here and not get run down. I was just talking to a friend of mine. He said he struck someone and killed him in Chelsea, so I'm real careful in traffic now, because <laughs> he might be out there. Um, oh, so there's the big, big, big one is there. So we're getting close to that. Probably gonna get mad at me for making a selfie, but I gotta believe the tourists are taking pictures around here. But yeah, so there's the old, I think this is like an old General Electric building, I think, but I'm not sure. And then as you get close, I'm like definitely right by the uh, cornerstone of the site. So we're right at the spot. So don't get any more New York-y than that. So uh, I guess this one is the, uh, the Vesey Street, right? So, you look at the number seven behind me, I guess. And then now you see the uh, transportation hub coming into view as well. Um, that's pretty good. So then we get up here to Vesey. And it looks pretty much healed, you know. And now we're uh, basically between this thing and One World Trade Center over here. That's a big, big building, huh? I remember when I first came to New York, I was staying at the Chelsea Hotel, right? And so, I, okay, I got drunk. And I told the cab driver, take me down to the World Trade Center. And I want to see the World Trade Center. And so he drove me down to this street. When the old World Trade Center was here, and this was after, like, the 1993 thing that they had, which was just absolutely awful. Um, but So there again, another really good view of the building. It definitely seems to stretch off into infinity from the perspective of the sidewalk. So you walk along, you can see that building looks pretty fucking awesome, right? I mean, that thing's built of uh, some very good stuff. And you got the old building across here, if that's too new for you. you. Got lots of New York finest around. Best guys in the world, damn it. Another cool view of the building. It's definitely, uh, definitely looking awesome. Now it's at this corner, speaking of hats, that my, uh, I had this like $250 handmade Panama hat, very sweet, um, just blew off my head right here and into the site. And I was just like, oh man, and I, so I flagged down cops, I'm ready to go over the fence for this hat. No such luck, hat's gone. Um, okay, now we're at the corner again, it's definitely cool over here. So you can look down the uh, west side highway here. That's the uh, winter garden and all those good things. And you turn around this way, and you look up the West Side Highway toward the Chelsea Piers, I guess. So let's walk along a little more, because I think we can walk this way through the memorial, which is kind of what my uh, kind of what my plan is. You can see a real nice plaza up there too. I think it's looking, it's looking maybe 85, 90 percent finished, really. I mean. Again, I haven't been here since this part was fenced off with chain link fencing and there was literally no public access. So, and again, you see those bomb proof walls look pretty serious, man. Now, I wonder, is that uh, really ready for everything? Probably, right? I guess. Okay, so now we come on the plaza, right? And you can see the plaza in the background, very sweet, all looking very pretty. You get a little 360 here. Yeah, sweet. All right, so we proceed along. Uh, what are we? I guess it's just a plain old West Side Highway. Um, and now we get to this corner where the perspective is truly beautiful, with the transportation hub in the background, and then we sweep out across the thing, right, and back down the West Side Highway. So that's looking good. That's definitely looking hot. Now we're getting over here toward the pit. Right? So here's the more park.
Yeah, that's right. That's where we are. That's number one. Number two is over here. Plus you can see the memorial back there next to the uh, transportation hub. That's kind of cool. That weird looking monolith uh, is not from 2001 A Space Odyssey. I think that's a venting tower for the, uh, the path train tunnels that go under the site. Okay, so now somewhere out on this plaza, I think the year was like 1990, geez, 98, 99, I saw Robert Cray play his guitar right there, over there at the corner of the building. He was like right in front of it. I think it was Hennessy Summer Stage. It was awesome, and he's good, of course. Um, so now you see we're getting closer to the memorial. Definitely everything's looking hot. Not completely done. You still see some fencing and areas and stuff, but it's definitely very cool. So let's see what kind of imagery we can get from the uh, memorial itself. The lights on out the inside. I think I can see the tower things. So there's more of the uh, thing, memorial, and uh, some of that stuff's tough to look at for me anyway, being the king of the Knickerbockers, C. Okay, so this is the other one. That's the spot where the jump has landed. So anyway. So that's it. You know, over here, you get over here to the uh, the fire department over here is, uh, of course, been rebuilt. And this neighborhood looks good, but that's really, I mean, that's it. Otherwise, it's, uh, you know, you see these two new buildings, that's it. Talk to you soon.